Ou bédé foufou. Ou bédé foufou. Pawa. En quatre en quoi. En quatre en Rastaman. Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's test and latest update coming in from the camp of Black Stars players. Yes, we are still in the weekend and let's check out their performances and all. The weekend so far has been good because Iñaki Williams yesterday, he won the Copa de Rey in Spain with his um, brother Nico Williams and Athletic Global and everything is going on well. The player has reacted and he has posted a lot. I said it yesterday that definitely he will come out to react. I'll show you all the pictures, everything that the player he has posted so far on the this channel and also talk about his journey in the um spanish copa de Rey shortly on this particular one we also talk about other players yes possibly black stars next strikers they have started scoring and it is a good one one striker scored a trick last weekend and this weekend he has also scored a brace we will talk about him in this update another one has also scored in portugal we will check him out then look at some other players who are playing not forgetting kobe boatin menu yes he plays for england he's an english boy but in the epo the boy is still doing wonders i spoke about this boy before he even signed professional contracts for manchester united but ghana we never decided to invite him he was ready to play for either ghana or england and he's doing wonders today in epo he scored a fantastic goal for manchester united against liverpool we'll talk shortly on him and some other ghanaian players playing ali do then we'll talk about um you know brandon thomas asante and all in this update you know how we do it on their performances we do it in a very snappy way but detailed as we do always on this channel before then if you have joined me take your time and like the video after liking if you are new subscribe to the channel put us on post notification so that i'll drop a latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy don't forget to leave a thought and comment in the comment box and after watching share this video for others to also come in and enjoy the content on this channel in the next video i'll be bringing a shout out so try and leave something in the comment box thank you for wishing me happy birthday yesterday yes i really appreciate everything that you guys did for me on this channel on the community post and under the videos i was so much um you know i'm impressed about what you did for me thank you for being with me always now quickly let's begin from here yes yesterday as i said athletic club the bobao they locked on with our city maloka in the copper Dere final and the game ended 1-1 after extra time so they had to head on to penalties and Bilbao they won the penalties and Iñaki Williams he was so much excited with his brother Nico Williams and everything was really good for them today the reactions have started coming and let's quickly check it out yes definitely he will post pictures with the trophy so he started posting it with his family yesterday we, um, he had the mother present um we also have the um father in there and the sister so the William family was present on the page and that was a great one not forgetting Inyaki Williams girlfriend yes she was also there to celebrate with them so everything was going on for the, for them in the yesterday celebration his brother Nico Williams yesterday he won the man of the match in a game against RCD Maloka and it tells you that yes these boys they are very good so Inyaki Williams posting a lot of pictures of which I'll be showing all on my right hand side now he posted one picture that um a boy was on the bed and that boy was dreaming and in that dream the boy was dreaming that he's won a trophy for athletic Bilbao, and the dream has come to reality so he posted it and wrote this dream unlocked and he added some emojis and some other ways i don't want to actually talk about that yeah so in that kingdom i'm seeing so much celebrating um his trophy with athletic Bobao, and that is a great one his brother nico williams also posted on his instagram profile and a lot so i'll be sharing all the pictures for you on my right hand side but that is what is actually going on showing pictures of um, himself then the younger brother that is Talking of Nico Williams, um, the way he has been kissing the brother always. Yes, he's just expressing the love that they have for each other since childhood. And that is also a great one. So, Inyaki, from a boy who was supporting Atletico Bilbao to be a man who is now winning trophies for them, tells you that, yes, his dream has actually come to reality. And that is it also for the player. In the Copa de Rey, he played five matches for them. He scored two goals and he's also provided two assists so out of the five games he contributed um you know four goals for them and that is a great one and um out of those important goals he scored one against fc barcelona the, the decider 
in that game right after the AFCON he went to score against Barcelona and they have to qualify from that stage also playing against Atletico Madrid he scored the first goal against them and it's also that he is the boy he's doing well for his side that is Athletic Club de Bilbao and that is a great one now one striker who has shot up in Portugal and I've spoken about this striker on this channel Abdo Aziz Yakubu I've spoken about him extensively his days at Real Ave when he left to um, Wuhan three towns in China, he's come back to the um, you know Portuguese league and the boy is still flying. Yesterday, he scored another goal for his side Real Ave against Joe Vicente and they won by some three goals to know. He scored from the spot on the 43rd minute and this boy so far, he's gotten himself five goals after his return to the Portuguese league and that is a good one for him. He was rated 7.2 after playing some 90 minutes with one goal, one shot on target, one shot block for him, dribble attempt was one, which was also successful. The player he had touches of 33 and he also continued to have 17 accurate passes out of 24 attempts, which is 71%. One key pass in the game for him, five long balls, two were successful. Ground was he went in for five and won one, and possession loss were 10. Error was he went in for four and got two for himself. Now, let's move on away from him and go to the French League 1. Yes, today we also have Ghanaian interest in there. Montpellier, they lock on with Laurent. And in Laurent, we have one Black Stars defender there. Nathaniel AJ, he was invited in the last caller by Otto Addo. And the player today, he was rated 6.9. His side lost by two goals to now against Montpellier. And he played 90 minutes after the um, 6.9 rating. He also had touches of 66. He gave 56 accurate passes out of 59 attempts which is 95 percent he the player also went on to give two key passes as a defender long balls were two all the two were successful ground was he went in for one and lost it and error was he also went in for three and got two right and that is a quick one on him now let's move forward and talk about some more strikers but before then blasters goalkeeper Lawrence artistically have said that yes among the three goalkeepers that usually we invite them or i'll say among the top five or top four um he is the most consistent at the club side and today he cares for St. Gallen um, but they drew 2-2 against um, young boys in Switzerland this is one of the toughest games you have to play in Switzerland if you play for any club yes, young boys is good, the game ended 2-2 and he kept 90 minutes and got a rating of 6.7 as a goalkeeper he made 3 saves, 1 save from inside the box, punches was 1 high claims, he claimed 2 balls um, high and um, touches were 37, 8 passes accurate out of 28 attempts which is 29 percent and long boss he sent 26 and 6 were successful in the game for lawrence artistic now let's take a dive to the epl and talk a little about kobe boatin menu because he's a Ghanaian and he's trending everywhere Mo many people will be writing the comment section i know some people will be like let's 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 actually hope that the boy will eventually come right now he's not coming to play for ghana again it is done and dusted after making um, his appearance for england i think going forward he's going to stay and play for them yes but today he scored a super super goal you you, you just imagine the touch and the way he scored that killer against liverpool the game ended 2 to manchester united 2 liverpool 2 and it was an interesting game to watch he scored and saluted the fans and that is it from kobe but he's trending everywhere He's a Ghanaian and I was always speaking about this boy before signing professional contracts last year, I think around last year, July. Then now he's a mainstay in Manchester United team. He's going to renew his contract and stay and I don't know how to say again. Yes, so we have a lot of Ghanaian talents across the globe and sometimes we can tap in some of them and they can come in and perform, you know, even though some are not performing, but others will also perform in the team. So that is just also on that now let me speak about this striker Mohamed Fuseni he is a very good striker in fact sometimes it is unfortunate that we cannot add the goals or the highlights of their goals in our videos because of copyright issues if you do that by the time you realize you'll be getting copyright copyright and your channel can be taken away from you so that's the unfortunate thing so sometimes when we speak about the strikers please take your time and go to their club page or just search Mohamed Fuseni goals and you can enjoy some of the goals from them. Yes, Mohamed Fuseni is one striker who is now on loan from Stamgrass that he's playing in the Denny Super League for FC Randes. And today he scored a brace. Last weekend he scored a half trick. Today, two goals. So in the space of a week, he has scored five goals in two games. And so far, since he joined the club, Randes on loan, six goals in seven games for them with one assist. So he's made seven goal contribution out of seven matches 
This boy is doing so well. Mohamed Kudus commented under his last post after he scored a hat trick, and it tells you that you know they are all actually monitoring themselves, and that is a good one. Mohamed Fuseni, we should watch out for him. I've been saying it that last starts. We need a striker. All our strikers are operating from the wings. Yeah, Semenyo is on the right wing. Inyaki Williams is also from there. And just mentioned them. So we need a striker who will stay in the box or who is going to actually work for us as a main striker or as a center forward. And this boy is one player that we should be watching out for. So yes, um, his side, FC Randers, they went away to win against Vidoville by some three goals to one in the Denny Super League. And the player, he scored a brace. On the third minute, he scored. Then on the 13th minute, 10 minutes afterwards, he added the second goal. And that is it also for him. I'll be following him and bring you a lot of updates on this channel. He got a rating of 8.3. This weekend, after 80 minutes, he, he had three shot block after three goals. Three shots on target, three shots off target. So he was shooting everywhere. And that is a good one and a hallmark of a good striker. Big chances miss was one as well. Touches were 39. Then he also went on to give eight accurate passes out of 16 attempts. And um, one key pass for him, ground was he went in for 11 and 1 5 and lost um, 19 times possession. One foul for him, and he was also fouled once. And that is it also for the boy. Now, let me move on and close it on some few players. Yes, we also have Mohamed Salisu today. He didn't play for AS Monaco. It was AS Monaco versus Stad Ren. But Ali Dusedu, he was in action for his side. Stad Ren in the French League One game. Ali Du, he started and was substituted on the 66th minute. He got a rating of 6.7. At that time, they needed a goal. So, the coach took him out to bring an attacking midfielder. But still, they lost by a goal to know. It was a tough game of which um, each side got red card. And it was really interesting watching that game. 6.7 rating. He had um, four clearances in the game. Um, one interception, one tackle, dribble pass were two. Um, touches he had 39 in the game and gave 23 accurate passes out of 28 attempts, which is 82 percent. One key pass for Ali Dusedu, ground was he went in for three and got one right, error was he went in for three and got one right. The long boss was one in the game as well. RB Salzburg, yes, in Austria today, they also drew one all with rapid rain, and we had four Senamanqua who performed so well, but unfortunately. He picked up an injury on the 80th minute. So I'll be following and bring you up to speed updates on his injury and everything on this channel. So first in Amankwa, he played for RB Salzburg and he was the highly rated player for his side. 7.7 .7 rating and um, he had 50 touches, 24 accurate passes out of 28 attempts, which is 86%. Key passes were 4, 5 passes and 5 crosses and 3 were successful. One, um, one long ball in the game for him and he continued to do a lot. 9 uh, ground walls and 1 7, um, 1 area draw, he lost it and lost only 10 times possession. 7.7 .7 rating for him is a good one. Eunice and Julia, they also played against Cecil Bridge and in Cecil Bridge, we have Francis Abu, he he had low rating today 5.9 and um you know he didn't do all that great but 12 minutes for him he came off the bench and had 13 touches five passes out of six completed which is 83 percent long balls he sent one which was accurate short of target was one big chances miss was one for him and that is it now last night let me talk about jose pinto because i watched him play for his side ellie galazi they lost to los angeles 2-1 but jose pinto was also good 6.9 rating he didn't contribute to the goal that they scored but 90 minutes one shot on off, off target for him one block shot six dribble attempts two were successful he had touches for 58 giving 28 accurate passes out of um, 31 attempts, which is 90%. Key passes he gave two, crosses were three, none was successful. Ground was he went in for 17 and won eight and lost 17 times possession. Finally, let's talk about West Bromwich Albion striker Brandon Thomas Clark Michael Asante. Yes, he also played yesterday against Stoke City. It was Stoke City 2, then West Brom 2. Now, Thomas Asante, he had a rating of 7.1. He did so well yesterday as a striker, even though he didn't score no assists. He had two shots blocked two dribble attempts all of them were successful touches he had 25 and he gave six passes out of 14 accurately which is 43 percent long balls he sent two and one was successful 
Grand Rossi went in for five and got three right. Edward Rossi went in for six and won and got two right. Um, possession um, loss were only 11 and he made one foul as a striker. And these are some of the performances of Ghanaian players. I know sometimes it is boring going through all this, but we have to do this to actually get to know the players' performances for the club side so that if they are invited to the national team, we can criticize constructively or applaud the coaches if they do it right. So, yes, these are some of the few performances of Ghanaian players. I'll be following more and bring you updates on this channel let me know your thoughts in the comment box don't forget to always like the video for me subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this is kenny tv and of course we shall meet later